A lot of people ask me why I agreed to be in a documentary about hunting made by non-hunters. Because obviously there are a lot of risks, but I agreed to do it for a couple of reasons. One, not enough people understand hunting. And two, I'm self-employed. I don't have to be concerned about shareholders' reactions, and none of my customers are going to boycott my business. I guess it comes down to hunting has a great story, and I felt like I could tell it. I figured I'd get some angry emails, and I have. But what's encouraging is of the few really hateful emails I've received, it's obvious those people hadn't even seen the film. All the rest I've gotten are from people who've seen it and are a lot nicer. But they tell me they've learned a lot from the film and now I understand there's a whole other side to the issue they never knew about. That's what I hoped would happen from being in this movie. That we'd actually have conversations rather than emotional arguments and have both sides acknowledge there's more than one way to conserve wildlife. We won't always agree on the ways to go about it, but at least we can talk about it in a respectful, educated way. It will be a welcome change. I hunt for the adventure it adds to my life and so that wildlife flourishes. I hunt for life.